Hey, welcome back, everyone. Today, we're going to do something really fun, installing and changing themes in Emacs. As I mentioned in the other video, I've got this beautiful plain base install of Emacs here. This is the basic scratch buffer you get when you install Emacs. Already disabled the splash screen. And the good question is, well, how do we, how do we change this look? Um, there's a few different ways. Actually, there's a lot of different ways. But um, we're going to go the the way that, that I've done to install the theme that I like. Uh, there's one called Grand Shell, which is a, a dark darker theme. So you won't have to look at this blinding white screen. Um, so let's go ahead. Uh, before I, I install that, though, there are some base themes that you can look at. Um, so here in the scratch buffer, Let's load a different theme while just while we're sitting here. So there's a just confirmed. Yeah, load dash theme. That's a that's a function to load a theme. And of course, so you have the name of the theme here. Um, I believe there's one called Tango Dark. Let's see what happens. Control X, Control E. There it is. So now that's that's Tango Dark. And um, to get a good example of the of the color, let's um, like look at a Lisp file here. So yeah, it, pretty nice color. We can look at an org mode file really quick. It puts the headings in yellow. You got your to-dos there. Second level heading is orange, and third level be green. Not a bad looking theme. Uh, I've used that one before quite a bit. Um, now let's uh, let's take a look at Grand Shell. The difference with Grand Shell is that it's a um, it's one that you'll have to install externally. It doesn't come built in with Emacs. Um, I'd like to see if I remember the way you can look at the pre-installed themes in Emacs, like Tango, Dark, and the other ones, but that slips from my mind at the moment. Uh, so let's go ahead and do a package-install. Actually, let's refresh packages first, just in case. Package, refresh contents. All right, and I've got the, the Melpa package manager in there as well. So I believe, I believe Grand Shell might be in that one. Let's see. Package install, Grand Shell theme. There it is, autocompletes, hit enter. All right, that was pretty quick. So now let's, um, instead of Tango Dark, let's do Grand Shell Dash Theme. Oops. I believe, yeah, I believe the actual name is not Grand Shell. You just do Grand Shell. Okay, so it asks you if you want to confirm uh, loading a theme can run Lisp code. So you say yes. It shows you right here it's not part of GNU Emacs, so you know that. Um, treat this theme as safe in future sessions at the bottom. Yes. There you go. Here's Grand Shell. I like the purple mode line. Uh, stands out nicely. We can take a look at our org file. Yeah. The the red, um, at least on my monitor as well, the, the, the red here is very is very dark, but it's okay. If you want a dark theme, you want something that is pretty mild on the eyes. So this does it. All right. Those are the those are the easiest ways. As I said, there is a way where you can look at all, all the different themes in Emacs using the custom system. But I find that um, this is even easier than that. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, I'll cut off the video there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.